Hello out there, it's Mama Trip with a new video. I thought that since, oh my gosh, the year is half over. It is June, six months have gone by and what 2022 has just been, you know, let's not even get into it. <laughs> let's just talk about the bags. Um, so this video is my most used bags of 2022 so far and it has been the year of the speedy for me so before a few years ago i had one speedy and it was the speedy 30 bandolier in the tahiti in print and i literally just bought this because of how beautiful it was i really didn't actually like this speedy but i dislike i don't dislike i'm not a tote person so i just don't want the Neverfull more like there's nothing there's nothing I dislike about the Neverfull there's nothing you know that I don't appreciate I think it's you know a cute bag it comes in beautiful prints I think it's so useful for so many people I understand why people like totes I understand why people like the never ending you know hole that they offer you carry so much stuff it's why it's called the Neverfull because it's never full but you know, the, the top handle and the zipper are just more appealing to me and more useful to me in my daily life and how I carry my bags. So I wanted a bag in this print and I think it came in the, like, the tiny Noe as well, but that was just too small at the time. If it came out again today, I would definitely buy the tiny Noe, but this is what I ended up with and I never used it too much. One, because I'm afraid to get it dirty <laughs> and two, because I wasn't into the speedy then. And then this one came along when I went to Paris slightly before the pandemic and it changed my mind about the speedy because it was so amazing and useful to use. And so this year I have kind of opened up my speedy family and so these are my top four most used i do have a runner up that i'll share afterwards but the uh one of the speedies that i added oh ooh, they're all tangled um one of the speedies that i added is this speedy 25 in the denim so this was a recent ad actually i waited over two months after i ordered this bag so i ordered it I think it was before, I ordered it before 2022, and I got it in February. Yeah, so I waited quite a while for this. I think it's officially called, like, Jacquard fabric, but it's the denim, uh, Speedy 25. And then I actually added this shorter denim strap to it. There you go. Yeah, so it's the same fabric print as the bag, but it has the blue leather of the strap that comes with the bag and the handles and the trim. So it's really cute. You can't wear it crossbody. I can't kind of get the whole thing. Yeah, there you go. Um, so it's really short compared to the crossbody strap that comes with the bag and I oh, I don't have it oh I do have it I do have it on the longest setting because I am still breastfeeding so I still have my breastfeeding boobs and so <laughs> things things are a little bit shorter on me than they used to be so if I kind of pull on it a little bit so you've got kind of Let's see if I can get this in the frame. Oh yeah. So you got kind of like a foot more. So this can go crossbody, hits me just above the hip, and then this cannot go crossbody. If I did, then the this bag is kind of squirrely in my boobs. So but I like the option of the look of it, the denim on the denim, and I like the ability to kind of have it more as a shoulder bag and kind of carry it as like this tiny little cute kind of top handle tote. Yep, so I love using this bag. I was worried that it would get dirty very easily, but it, it hasn't. There's not any stains on it, and Little Trip has been all over this bag. This is probably one of her favorite bags of mine. She likes to put the strap over her head and, you know, touch it, open it. She loves the feel of this, and it is holding up. I even took it to the park once, or more than once, and it's doing great. So definitely one of my used, most used bags this year so far. And the other Speedy that I added is the Speedy 20 in the, I have no idea how to say it, Navy Narser, Narse, 
color. I think that it's just navy twice, navy in English and navy in French, but it's in the iridescent dark blue color and in the emprunt leather with the giant monogram. So I know if you've seen some of my other videos, you guys kind of get in the, the hint that I don't love the traditional brown Louis Vuitton monogram. I actually really like the giant monogram in the emprunt leather. I don't like it in the bicolor. <laughs> There's nothing that I hate. I don't ever see things and go, oh, I hate that. I think hate is a very strong word. I can always appreciate why someone would like something or find it beautiful. But for me, I don't, I don't just, I don't jive with the traditional brown monogram of the Louis Vuitton print, but I do like this giant monogram in the emprunt leather that's all one color and just the, you know, the embossing in it. And this size is just perfect. It fits my daily necessities and more. It looks really good on my body type right now. And it's just so cute, carry top handle, even without the strap. So I think this is a good day to night bag for me, especially because it's so shimmery <laughs> and it's such a happy color. So this is again, oh, and the, the inside, right, it's got the nice extended zip and it's got the, oh, it's got the dark blue microfiber lining on the inside. I don't know if you can see. There we go. There's a little bit of there, right? The just, it's just one solid color with the small pocket. And then with the jacquard <laughs> denim bag, the inside is just like denim jeans, right? So it'd be the inside where it's the the white color with the denim cross stitching instead of the denim outside with the white cross stitching. So it's got the bigger, so this pocket is bigger than the pocket in this one. I can show you this side. So let's see if I can bring it up here. So this one has this tiny, tiny little thing and then this one has a bigger opening to it. So it's probably got about an inch or two inches more to the pocket. So this one has a more useful inside pocket than this one does. Neither one of them have the extended zip though. So that's sad. So this year so far has been the year of the speedy for me. I've got my two 25s and I've got my 20 that I use all the time. My one Chanel, so Chanel has been put to the side. Chanel used to be by far my most used, my most purchased brand before I would say pre-pandemic. But this guy, which I added earlier this year, and I've been wanting for probably since it came out, I think. Yeah, even when it was the reverse, so it was smooth on the top flap and quilted on the body. So even when it was like that, I wanted it. And then I wanted it even more when they reversed it. And now that I have it, I love it. I carry this all the time. It is the bag. It's the bag that I'm currently carrying. It's got like my wallet in there, my car keys, a bunch of receipts, my hand sanitizer, and then phone slips so easily in the back. But yes, this is what I'm carrying now, and this is the Chanel Business Affinity in the medium size. So medium is still quite small. The small size was too small for me. So this is the iPhone 12, and this fits, not the Pro, not the huge one, the regular size one, and it just fits. So the small size was too small. Okay, well, that rounds out my top four for 2020 so far. So my only Chanel, Chanel Business Affinity Medium, Black Caviar, Champagne Gold Hardware, the Speedy 20 from Louis Vuitton in the Emprunt Leather Giant Monogram in the Navy Narcissus <laughs> color, uh, Silver Hardware, and then we've got the Speedy 25 in the Bandolier with, in the Jacquard or Denim fabric, and then the always classic incomparable Miss Beauty B25 in the Damia Ebin, right? This indestructible, can't get it dirty. And then my honorable mention, as I would like to say, I've actually seen this bag pop up a little bit more often on social media these days, which is great because people are discovering 
this bag more and more and it is my keep all extra small in the reverse eclipse reverse monogram eclipse so this is from the men's collection so it's not it's not a speedy so you can kind of see so it's longer it's just it's it literally a teeny tiny keep all so it's longer than this would be and kind of shorter in stature but it packs a punch in terms of what you can fit in here because it's got a pretty good volume in terms of space and the the hardware isn't exactly bright shiny silver so you can see it's a little darker so it's gunmetal hardware and the inside is just kind of a big black hole it has no pocket on the inside and it's fabric it's not microfiber and the strap has kind of like the keyboard has a little you know like padding thing to you know make it feel better on the shoulder even though it's absolutely not necessary in this size of bag it does give the strap a little bit more character i guess and the strap itself is in the reverse uh eclipse print and this has come out in a few designs. I know that there's a leather all black one without the monogram print on it. There have been a few leather options. The the watercolor came, no, the watercolor didn't come out in this. It came out in that, that cloud kind of watercolor print. Um, it came out in the different the taiga, I think they're called the taiga leathers from the men's collection. Came out in a few different colors, gray, black. I'm not sure if it came out in the red. Um, and some of the more specialty men's collections have come out with and keep all extra small. I did hear that they're discontinuing this. So that would be really, really sad um, if they do because it is a great bag. And this is my quick getaway bag. You just shove my essentials in here and then go and it's very low key it's very carefree it has you know the little top handles on it which make it adorable because it looks like a teeny tiny key ball which it is and it's just i think that this is a it, the price point was definitely high for what it was i think it's more now but i think i got this for just under two thousand when I purchased this and I just happened upon this so I didn't even realize this was out there and then my CA so I went to go pick up I think it was when I went to go pick up these guys a while ago so I had gotten the PM and the GM size of the cosmetic pouches and I went to go pick them up and she just showed me this bag she was like hey did you know that these exist you seem to love top handle bags <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. And I purchased it on the spot. Um, which is something I never ever do. And I have not regretted it. So, yeah. Honorable mention. Keep all extra small. If you can get one, I highly, highly recommend it. It is adorable. And it is very versatile. So I would say when I'm comparing the canvases, this one feels thicker to me. than the, the men's canvas feels nicer to me than the women's canvas. Which, I know... Are we shocked? No, we're not. Should we accept it as the norm? No. <laughs> what can we do about it? I have no idea. But <laughs> there we go. So most used would be two Speedy 25s, Speedy 20. My Chanel Business Affinity and honorable mention goes to my Keep Ball Extra Small. All right, guys. I think the next video I'll do my favorite bags of... 2022 because even though these are my most used bags they're not necessarily the bags that i take out when i'm just needing some cheerful pick-me-ups and i just look at and they just brighten my day um these two might be on that list because they're still newish to my collection and they still kind of give me the little butterflies when i look at them but there are a few other bags that deserve a mention in here as my top overall bags of 2020 all right guys hope that you enjoyed my selections what have been your top bags so far and are your most used different than your most favorite because that's always the case for me and i don't know if that's the case for everyone else maybe your favorite bag is the one you use all the time because it's your favorite let me know in the comments down below and hello everyone that's subscribed already welcome to the fam see you in the next one